Good evening, my name is Nathaniel De Jesus. I started going to Escanilla Library when I was 20. After graduating from high school, I was struggling in my everyday life because I couldn't read that well. The future scares me. If I couldn't read a menu at a restaurant, how could I reach my dreams and goals? That Escondido Literacy Program was the answer. One of my aides encouraged me to go to a public library to get help. But the thing is, I was doing better because I was just 14. At the age of 20, I got brave, brave enough to ask for help. I talked to my dad late at night and, and asked him about getting help at the with reading. When I first came, I was, I felt like I was too old to be joining the program because all my friends were moving on with their lives and I was just starting from the beginning. To meet up with my tutors, I had to call for my transportation. <coughs> I was attending even if I was not feeling well, because I knew I was getting the help that I needed. <coughs> I had two different tutors, tutors uh, Kathleen and Anna, and they were both patient patient with me. Learning never sleeps. If I took a break, I, I felt like I was gonna forget how to read. So I walked my butt off and then jumped my eyes. <laughs> Just like if you would injure yourself if you didn't take breaks at a gym. Before becoming a little bit, I used to limit myself and my family saw that. When they noticed my reading level finally was improving, they pushed me they pushed they pushed me more <laughs> to be more independent in life. If it wasn't for Escanilla Literacy Program, I wouldn't be able to give you this speech today. I have a quote for you guys that I would like to read. You are never too young to chase your dreams, and you are never too old to dream again. Wow.